Krabby Bill here. Thursday afternoon, Krabby's Mountain Spot, Whitehaven, Pennsylvania. Second time I'm heading out for deer in rifle season. Let's hope uh, it's as good as the first one. Got a friend on his way up. I'm out of breath a little bit because I was just down in the woods pulling the trail camera cards. And uh, I thought I saw a piebald deer heading my way. So I stayed there for a minute looking. It wasn't a piebald. It was an American bulldog. And it was moving quick. So I hustled it up and got out of here. And it looked like he had a tracking collar on. So obviously uh, somebody knows where he's at. He's gone now. But I'm out of breath. And I haven't seen him since I got up here on the porch. So I pulled the card. I didn't put another card back in. I just got out of there. So I'm here waiting for Andrew. Not sure how he's going to like being on camera, but if I get some video, I'll post it. We'll see what happens. Looking forward to a uh, nice couple of days, lots of food, lots to drink. Crabby outdid herself again when I unpacked that bag. All kinds of good food in there, including her famous buffalo wings. So we'll check back. All right, Krabby Bill here, 7 a.m. Just got out here, Andrew's over here to my left in the ravine. Just saw that scene deer blind set up. The guy's flying his flag. You don't know whether he's in there or not. So we came back into the area where I shot the doe last week. <laughs> it's pretty warm out here at the moment. Uh, I'll hang here for a few minutes till I stop sweating. Uh, looks like he found himself a spot to to sit. Um, I may move up a little bit higher. That looks nice. It's nice looking. Yeah. 
Andrew just split up again. We came uh, came down the road into almost an Anescapec State Park. And we followed the creek. This is where we just split up. And I'm following a deer trail. He's following a deer trail. Let's see what we see. Nice little area in here. And like the Some shooting lanes that way. May just hang here for a little bit. I just saw Andrew level his gun. He turned around and signaled me. I don't know what he's... A doe or a spike maybe? Yeah. It's pretty quiet out here today. <clears throat> Haven't heard any shots uh, for quite some time. That's right, the camera wasn't working, so I may not have mentioned it before, but as soon as we came out of the woods earlier to make lunch, uh, there was two shots that came from the area where we had been all morning. I haven't heard anything since. Um, I haven't seen any movement. Uh, Andrew saw that one doe earlier, and then uh, I saw him raise his gun up earlier, and then he signaled to me afterwards, but I don't know what it was, maybe another doe. Well, at her now. Beautiful afternoon, just no shots, no deer. I got my fingers crossed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Two, back from lunch, uh, another new spot. We're not doing nearly as much walking today or, or this afternoon as we did this morning and, uh, and yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, I guess we did a mile and a half in that we thought was tough until we went out today. Um, we did a little bit more than two miles in, two miles out. And uh, we were all over the place. Saw all kinds of tracks, trails, <laughs> prints, and uh, didn't even spook a deer. So we're out here now. I'm set up on this trail. This is it for me for the season, so.
Let's see what happens. Well, it's coming down to the wire here. It's after four o'clock. The uh, sun's getting ready to drop behind the trees here in front of me. And uh, I've seen nothing. We logged a lot of miles in the last uh, two days. But uh, one doe was it. That's all we saw. So I'm going to stay here, I guess, until dark. And then uh, follow this trail back to the truck. At least I know there's a couple of nice steaks, mac and cheese, some cold beers waiting for us. Uh, Andrew's way over to my left. I was able to see him for a little while. I can't see him now. I don't know where they moved further out or... But, uh... I'm gonna hang in here for the next probably half hour, 40 minutes. Fingers crossed. But, uh... We'll see what happens here. Grabby Bill here. <clears throat> Sunday morning. Heading home. No deer this weekend. Uh, deer camp wasn't a total bust. Got Andrew up here. Uh, had a nice uh, nice weekend. We logged a lot of miles. I mean, we walked all over the place. Probably close to seven miles uh, for, the, uh, for the two days. I didn't uh, tally up the tracks yet. But explored a lot of new areas. Uh, went to places that I've never been around here. Uh, was in the park, found some some great looking spots, rubs, bedding, scrapes, you name it, we saw it. Uh, lots of trails, lots of tracks. Uh, we went down to uh, the pheasant fields. Uh, that was a hike and a half, man. It was two miles in, and it was uphill. So um, we uh, we put some miles on there. So last night we got home. I think Andrew was in bed at 7. I was asleep by 8 in the chair trying to watch a movie. And uh, after dinner, I had a couple of beers, and that was it, man. I, I just passed out. So Andrew's back. Uh, had to leave early this morning to go to work. And I'm cleaning up here now. Uh, picked up uh, most of my deer meat from the butcher. They don't make any of the sausages and kibasses and stuff until uh, January, I guess, once uh, once they're finished processing the deer themselves. So, got a whole cooler full of uh, loins and steaks and uh, a couple of roasts. Uh, so, take it on home. Crabby's not going to like it. She don't like venison at all. But I'll share it with my son. And my next door neighbor said he'd like some. So, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, we'll check back.